If you're planning to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2, then please hold your horses. Never ever do a Windows upgrade. This isn't just for Windows 11 24H2. It's been like this for forever. Every time if there is a new major update for Windows, there is always some issues. Right now, some people are facing blue screen of death issues where you get this blue screen error. This is something that even Microsoft cannot fix. This happens because of the outdated drivers most of the time. Right now, it looks like in some Intel PCs, uh, this is caused by the outdated audio driver. This is the name of the audio driver. So basically, if you have a outdated audio driver in Intel PC, you're going to get this error. Most of these issues occur when you do a upgrade. It's been like this ever since the Windows 10 came out. Remember this? This was the worst update of uh, Windows. So back in 2020, there was a major update for Windows 10 and that update was deleting users data. Not all users, but some. So basically every Windows update has been buggy. So this is the same for Windows 11 24H2. So there is this rule made by Windows users. Never do a upgrade to a next major update on Windows because it will always give you some kind of issue. So whenever there is a big update like this one, 24H2 is a big update for Windows 11, uh, you should always do a clean install if possible. If not possible, then you should wait at least minimum one month it will give some time microsoft to discover plus fix those issues and after that uh, it is kind of safe to upgrade but still you know it's recommended to do a clean install for almost every major update i actually upgraded to windows 11 24h2 from 23h2 when it was in release preview it's running well i mean it doesn't have any issues but recently I discovered one bug uh, on my system. Uh, okay, actually, let me show you guys what is the bug. So you can see I'm using the 24H2. If I go into the power settings here, power mode, there is this bug that it's not showing me the uh, power plants. It's empty. There isn't, there is nothing. But on my other PC where I did the clean install, if I go to the power mode here you can see i have the power plants here hello it's me future kb i need to do a small correction here when you choose a power plan from control panel and set it to high performance or ultimate performance then the settings app won't show you the power plants it is still a bug because the control panels power plan should not work because that feature I think has been removed from the 24H2, as I will show you guys later in this video. I'm going to repeat this again and again. Never upgrade. Always do a clean install. Maybe under the hood, there are many other issues on my PC that I haven't discovered. I'm pretty sure. I actually, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> okay, on my second PC, if I go into the control panel, and then go to the power options. I cannot see the, uh, the the power plants here, all the power plants. I only see the balanced power plan and uh, there is no selection, no nothing like that. This is because Microsoft is actually slowly shifting to the new settings app and they, they're gonna slowly get rid of the control panel. So that's why uh, the power plan in control panel doesn't actually work anymore because they have already shifted this to the settings. Uh, if I go here, uh, I can see all the power plants here, but I don't see in control panel. So this is a big update. You'll see many, many bugs and issues if you do a upgrade because it won't fit with the older versions of Windows. Plus there might be some outdated drivers, which might even give you the blue screen error. So if you haven't upgraded to 24H2 yet, please don't do it. Take your time, maybe uh, upgrade after a month or two. If possible, again, just do the clean install. Upgrading is not a good idea. So take your time, maybe whenever you can, you know, back up your things from the old windows to secondary drive or something, and then do the clean install.
it's highly recommended. And there are some other issues too in 24H2. Uh, this is specific to 24H2. The bugs and errors that we see is because of the outdated drivers plus if the update has major changes it won't fit with the uh, old version. That's it. That's why we get the bugs and errors. So this is specific to the 24H2. Actually maybe not. It says that some games are facing issues because of the older versions of anti-cheat. So this is the easy anti-cheat. So basically their anti-cheat is outdated. So they have this issue. So there are many other issues. Again, I have also made a video on uh, like uh, the black screen issue on 24H2 when you do the alt tab, when you're playing the game on full screen. So that issue is also related to NVIDIA GPU driver. It's not fully optimized for 24H2. So basically you won't face any big issues if you do a clean install, but if you do a upgrade, you'll definitely face an issue or some type of bug. So please always do a clean install if possible. I'm also planning to do a clean install because I have found a couple of bugs on my system because I did the upgrade. I'm gonna have to wait a few more days because I have one video planned for uh, Linux and I have done a dual boot. So I don't wanna delete Linux yet. For now, it's actually running pretty well. There are some bugs, but it's not affecting me that much for now. I'll also make a tutorial on how to properly install Windows 11 24H2 because there are some features which I absolutely don't like and don't want to use. Maybe you guys will also like that tutorial plus it will be useful if you're planning to do a clean install of Windows 11 24H2. So yeah. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something, you can always do the comment and maybe we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.